Uh, good afternoon, bonjour, Annie. I'm Taryn Bassin. I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator for the Northern Ontario Angels. So we will begin this webinar by acknowledging that we're meeting virtually on Indigenous lands that has been inhabited by Indigenous peoples. We acknowledge all of the treaties and traditional territories on which all of you are in attendance today. Northern Ontario Angels is one of the top angel organizations in North America. Um, and we link Northern Ontario uh, entrepreneurs to investors. So we service eight chapter communities all across the North. Uh, and we have nine part-time consultants within these communities doing outreach. So if you're interested in learning more about us, I will be leaving uh, a link to our website and my contact information in the chat box. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today for an online information session with Futurepreneurs Kennedy Horton and Nate McDonald. Um, so Kennedy is a business development manager in Northern Ontario for Futurepreneur. And Futurepreneur is Canada's only national nonprofit organization that offers financing, mentorship, and business resources to help aspiring diverse entrepreneurs aged 18 to 39. Kennedy started her career at a local small business center in North Bay, where she facilitated the starter company and summer company program before embarking on this opportunity with Futurepreneur about a year ago. She has a great level of entrepreneurship knowledge and looks forward to working with all entrepreneurs on their journey. So before we begin, if you have not already done so, can you please mute your audio and video channels? And we will be moderating a Q&A session after the presentation. So you can go ahead and share your screen now, Kennedy. Awesome. Thank you, Taryn. Just bear with me one second. Can you see that okay? Yep. Perfect. Awesome. All right, well, thank you everyone uh, for joining us um, today on the call. I have Nate McDonald with me as well, uh, who will be uh, replacing me as I go off on mat leave in a month from now. Um, so Nate, I've actually kind of put him on the spot today and he has um, been open to do a couple of slides for us today. Uh, so Nate, I'll have you uh, start us off. Yeah, thanks Kennedy. Um, so Taran gave a very good explanation of Futurepreneur. Kennedy and I are very excited and uh, looking forward to the opportunity to explain our program and what we have to offer. So my name is Nate. Um, I'm a business development manager here at um, Futurepreneur, and uh, we can just get right into it before Kennedy takes a deep dive into what programs we have to offer. So um, our mission here at Futurepreneur is to provide financing and mentorship. Um, as well as the business resources to entrepreneurs age 18 to 39. So we're the only national nonprofit organization currently doing so. And we have four core values that re we really try to stick to um, every day in our work. So we are mission driven, but we're also very collaborative. And this is something that we try to maintain with all the young entrepreneurs that we work with. Um, we also place a very high emphasis on being transparent and honest with our young entrepreneurs. And we want to foster a diverse and inclusive space. So if you look at the group of young entrepreneurs that we work with, um, you'll see people from all sorts of different backgrounds. Um, in terms of our impact, um, we're mission driven. We place high importance in our values. So we've actually helped over 16,500 young entrepreneurs open over 13,000 businesses in the last 25 years. Um, as I previously mentioned, very diverse backgrounds or client demographic, 44% um, of our supported businesses are being led by women, 17% are have black founders, and then another 5% have indigenous founders. And in terms of the entrepreneurs that we work with, um, they leave our program feeling very satisfied. So 90% say they felt prepared to launch their business after working with us. Awesome. Thanks, Nate. So now I'm going to jump in a little bit about our startup programs. Um, so we have a few full time startup programs, uh, starting with our core startup program, where entrepreneurs have the opportunity to get up to $60,000 in loan finance, unsecured loan financing, uh, plus two years of hand matched mentorship and also support from our entrepreneur and residents uh, who are individuals who are able to take a deep dive with entrepreneurs uh, into their entrepreneurial journey as they start um, that new venture. Um, whereas us as business development managers will work directly with the entrepreneur to help them uh, with the application. Whereas our entrepreneur and residents will, again, do that deeper dive uh, with our entrepreneur. So this is our core startup program. And similar to our core startup program, uh, we have our Black Entrepreneurship Startup Program. And we have um, 
business development managers with lived experience. Um, so our black entrepreneurs who come into our programming get the opportunity to work with um, black business development managers as well. Um, and they have access to up to $60,000 in um, loan financing, unsecured loan financing, plus two years of mentorship. Um, support from an entrepreneur in residence and additional follow on financing um, after two years of being in business. We also have our Indigenous Entrepreneurship Startup Program. So again, very similar to our core startup program, uh, but it's more focused on Indigenous entrepreneurs where they get to connect with Indigenous business development managers with lived experience. Again, receive up to $60,000 in unsecured loans plus two years of mentorship and support from our entrepreneur in residence. So the eligibility for those core programs I just went through, uh, you must be between the ages of 18 to 39, a Canadian citizen or permanent resident of Canada. If you're a student, you have to be in your final year of studies. Your business has to be past the research and development stage. So what that means is that the business has to be ready to bring to market. So for example, if you were in the process of developing an app, that app needs to be developed and ready to bring to consumer or business to business um, for us to be able to, to finance it. Your business has to be less than 12 months of full-time operation. So if you've been operating on a part-time basis prior to um, embarking full-time, that doesn't count within the 12 months. It's from the time that you decided to take your business venture on a full-time basis. So you have 12 months to apply to Futurepreneur um, once you embark full-time. You also have the opportunity to work for, with a mentor for a period of two years upon receiving the financing. So you have to receive financing through Futurepreneur to access our mentorship. And in order to apply, you have to complete a business plan and a cash flow projection um, for application. Um, we'll review it for you, provide you with some su uh, suggestions and feedback, um, and then that'll move you forward in the application process. So I'll briefly touch on the terms and fees. Um, so when you're looking at our core program, the $60,000 loan is made up into two separate loans, $20,000 coming from Futurepreneur and an additional $40,000 may be provided by the BBC. They are both over a five year term. It's interest only payments for the first year followed by principal payments plus interest over the remaining four years. The great thing about the Futurepreneur loan is that there is no penalty for early repayment. Um, so should you want to repay back the 20,000 early, you can do so without penalty. Whereas on the BDC side, um, if you are to repay early, there is a penalty of equal to three months of interest on the principal prepaid. But with that being said, once a year on the anniversary date of the loan, um, you're able to repay 15% of the principal without penalty. Um, so that's a little bit about the terms and fees, uh, interest rates as of today. So Futurepreneur right now is sitting at an interest rate of 9%. Um, and we actually have capped our interest rates for our entrepreneurs. Um, and the only time it will exceed 9% is if Prime reaches 9%. And I hope that we never see that day. Um, but again, that at this point, we have capped it on the Futurepreneur side. On the BDC side, uh, their interest rate today is sitting at 10.7%. Um, so know that again, those are those interest rates are variable and can change at any point in time. A little bit about our side hustle program. Um, so this is a program designed for entrepreneurs who are working full time and want to um, have a side hustle or a side business. Um, and you could receive up to 15,000 in loan financing uh, plus the two years of mentorship. And basically with the side hustle program is you have to be able to demonstrate that you have a full-time sustainable income outside of that side hustle, um, as well as no intentions of becoming full-time within the next year. Um, so there's also two years of mentorship available with this program as well. Um, and it is highly encouraged for those who are working full-time and working at at their business on the side. So a little bit of eligibility uh, for the side hustle program. Again, very similar to our core startup program. However, the main difference between the two programs is that you must demonstrate a source of full-time sustainable income outside of that business um, and that you're willing to work with a mentor for a period of two years. 
with the side hustle program, um, applicants are actually not completing an entire business plan. Uh, we call it our business attestation. It's a bit of a canvas model, a little bit more detailed than a canvas model uh, plan that they will complete as well as a two year cash flow projection for the side hustle program. Whereas with the core program, you are to complete a full business plan uh, and cat two year cash flow projection. So the terms and fees are very similar to the core program. However, with the 15,000, you're actually only receiving a loan from Futurepreneur and there is no BDC portion for the side hustle. So for Futurepreneur, you'd be getting up to 15,000 over a four year term. Again, our interest rates are still 9% and capped at 9% uh, for the side hustle program. It's interest only payments for the first year following the principal payments plus interest over the remaining three years. And there's still no penalty for early repayment on the Futurepreneur side. Some program supports, and I'll have Nate touch a little bit on mentorship. Yeah, so Kennedy already kind of touched on the mentorship aspect of our program. Um, but when you work with Futurepreneur and your application is approved, you not only receive whatever financing that you qualify for, um, but you will also automatically be enrolled into our mentorship program. So upon being approved for financing, you'll fill out what's called a meant to be application. Um, and this provides us with more information regarding what you're looking for in your mentorship experience. So once we receive your meant to be application and your financing has been approved, you and your mentor will work for two years together um, and will agree to meet for roughly four to five hours per month. You, I should note that you also do have the opportunity to identify your own mentor. So if there's someone um, that you're familiar with, you're comfortable with, and you'd like to work with them, and that mentor is also willing to um, commit to the two-year program, then that's an option as well. Yeah, and just, just to add to that as well, the mentor is required to apply through our um, mentor application. So they have to do a mentor application in order to uh, be a mentor with Futurepreneur. So if, if you do request a mentor, we do get them to complete um, our application for mentors as well on our side. So just a, just a quick note on that. Yeah. Um, and then just a quick testimonial. Um, so this is Joanna Griffith. She came through the Futurepreneur program um, and is now obviously extremely successful. So she's the founder and CEO of Nick's Undergarments, and she also sits on our board of directors. Perfect. And then we have the Rock My Business series. So this is a workshop that is led by our entrepreneur in residence. Um, so typically as a business development manager, when we get entrepreneurs who are interested in starting a business, but they're not really sure where to start, they haven't started their business plan or cash flow, they partially have an idea, but not really sure what the next steps to take. Uh, we have a Rock My Business series, which is a three-part series that covers um, the ideation stage, business planning, and cash flow projections. Um, so this is a three-part work workshop that happens probably three or four times throughout the year, and it is virtual. Um, our next intake is actually coming up in July, um, so you can actually go to our Futurepreneur website under Rock My Business, and it indicates all of the workshops that are happening uh, in July, and each session is uh, three hours in length. So basically, you would attend these virtual sessions and work on your business planning cash flow. Um, if you attend the Rock My Business Plan as well as the Rock My Cash Flow, you have the opportunity to get a free kind of consultation uh, with the entrepreneur and residents um, as well. So you're able to actually connect with them on a one on one basis and decide what your next steps are going to be. So, in a nutshell, how it works is um, to support uh, young entrepreneurs, we have of course, different stages that entrepreneurs come to see us, whether they're at the idea stage, they're able to consider Rock My Business um, webinar series. If they need more help with their business plan, they can attend the Rock My Business series. We have an entire resources section on our website, um, and we also have business development managers that are more than happy to direct you in the right area um, if you're not necessarily ready to take that leap in applying. If you're looking for additional or looking for financing, I should say, um, you can connect with a business development manager within your region and you can register and connect with a BDM um, and they would be happy to review that business plan and cash flow for you prior to submitting it for application. 
So we are, Futurepreneur is located across Canada. Um, so again, if you're not specifically within Ontario, or maybe you're, you're specifically within Ontario, but not in Northern Ontario, um, you can certainly connect with a business development manager within your region. Um, this is the list of uh, business development managers within our region. And as of July 5th, Nate will then be um, the Northern uh, Business Development Manager for the next year um, while I take my mat leave. Um, so you definitely will be in great hands with Nate if you are within Northern Ontario and looking for more supports on Futurepreneur. And in a nutshell, that's a little bit about our programming. I'm happy to answer any questions anyone might have uh, moving forward. And I will pass it back over to Taryn. Okay, amazing. Did anybody have any questions? Please feel free to unmute yourself. Kennedy, I have one. Um, so the age cat, the age is what eighteen to eighteen to thirty nine. Yeah. So how what is how does that calendar year work? Yes. Yeah, so they have to be they have to be thirty nine when they apply with their business plan and cash flow. And same with if they're 18, they have to be 18 to apply with a business plan and cash flow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great question. Um, so James is asking, can young entrepreneurs access only the mentorship portion of the program? Yeah, unfortunately not. You do have to access um, the financing and then upon being approved for financing, then you have access to the mentorship. Um, so it's, it's a two in one basically. Okay. Um, Cindy, I'm going to try to unmute you. Don't know if it's going to allow me. Oh, here you go. You should be good now. Cindy, are you there? It looked like it got blocked again, Taryn. For a second, oh. it had a bar and then it's still. Okay. All right, you should be good to go now. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. It's just a little longer than I could type. Um, if, no there is a, if there is a specific group, um, can groups engage or does it, is it only for individuals? Um, so if the business structure, so the business structure can be a sole proprietorship, a partnership or a corporation. Um, so if it's more than one individual involved within the business, it can certainly, um, they can certainly apply. Is that what you mean by that? Or is there, is it a different type of structure, like a full, how many people are involved? Well, um, what I'm thinking of is if there is, for example, a cultural organization, um, an Indigenous cultural organization, could they work with the Futurepreneur program to run the three workshops just for their group and to engage oh, just with their group? So you're you're thinking specifically for the Rock My Business series? Yeah. We can certainly connect, uh, Cindy, and we can potentially put something together um, that we actually do would do externally, um, okay. like in terms of like a separate entity from Rock My Business. Um, are you located in Northern Ontario? Timmins. In Timmins? Okay, perfect. So why don't we connect, Cindy, after the call and we can see what we can do in terms of potentially putting a virtual workshop or an in-person workshop together uh, for your group? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. Thanks, Cindy. Um, so we have another question in the chat. Uh, does it mean that age 40 and above are not qualified for this program? I'm assuming yes. That is correct. Um, however, uh, please know that if there is, um, there are a ton of other resources, depending on where you're located. Um, I'll speak specifically to Northern Ontario. There are definitely other organizations um, that you could potentially fall under. So we can certainly connect, determine what your business idea is, and I'd be happy to refer you to the correct organization that would be able to help you. Perfect, thank you. And then I think this is gonna be our last question. Um, for a med tech company, is, that, is it possible to apply before passing regulations uh, a little bit before market? 
Yeah, so I think we can certainly like we can certainly connect um, and have a conversation. But if the if the product or service is not ready to bring to market, we can have initial conversations before it's brought to market to see where you're at. Um, however, you must apply with a business plan and cash flow once the product or service is ready to bring to market. I hope that answers the question. If not, I will put my email in the chat as well uh, for us to connect. Perfect. I see one person typing. <laughs> All good. We'll just give it another minute. Any other questions? Feel free to unmute yourselves as well. I've given access to everybody. All right, I guess we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and close. Thank you everyone for participating in our event today. Um, so just as a reminder, the session is being recorded and I will be posting it on our YouTube and sending out a link for everybody afterwards. Um, I'd like to thank Kennedy and Nate for sharing that information as well as our NOAA funding agencies, FedNOR and NOHFC and our partners, NORCAT, BDO, Bearskin and Par LLP, FireDoc Communications, Motion Arc Studios, Inc., Thunder Bay Hydraulics, N1 Solutions, Journal Printing in Northwestern uh, Ontario Innovation Center. You can find us on social media and sign up for our e-newsletter at northernontarioangels.ca for future events. Uh, thank you, merci, and miigwech. Awesome. Thank you so much, Taryn, for a great session. And uh, we look forward to hosting again in the future with you guys. There are two awesome. questions thank you. raised. Yeah, I see oh, Chris's a hand is up. Couple questions. Go ahead. Okay, I'll start first. So my question would be, how does it look like the the deal flow with angel investors and potential um, founders? What does it look like when you provide a warm introduction or when you put together a um, early stage company with your your group of angel investors? Can you uh, show ex examples of how it has uh, looked like? Are you, are you speaking? Sorry, I is this? I think this might be more of a question for NOA. Okay. Because Futurepreneur doesn't have any angel investors specifically, but ha like if you're able to answer that, Taryn, I'm not sure. I didn't quite hear the question. You are cutting up a little bit, Chris, but I can connect with you afterwards. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right. Did we have any other questions? Uh, I think Nixit has a question in the chat. Uh, Nixit, I would suggest um, just send me an email and I'd be more than happy to connect with you online specific to the veterinary medicine market um, in Canada. Uh, anything related to Rock My Business, um, feel free to send me an email as well, um, just above here in the chat, and I'll put it in there again, just so you have it. And we can connect Perfect. afterwards. All right, sounds good. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kennedy. Awesome. Have Thank a nice you, day, Taryn. everybody. Take Thanks, care. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, thanks.